A new memorial was unveiled at Punch Bowl. It took only months to build, but many veterans had been waiting nearly 40 years. KITV4's Paul Drews has more on the new Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Military Intelligence Service, Veterans of Hawaii, VFW Post 110. Following a very public ceremony to honor all veterans, some of those vets took time for a more personal reflection. I was stationed in Saigon in the 8th Field Hospital. For Vietnam veteran Rona Adams, this newly completed memorial not only honors the ultimate sacrifice of those who served in the war four decades ago, it also brings back her own memories of that deadly conflict. War is hell. There's no telling, no explaining it. The only people that would even know what that would be like is the people that go out on first rescue when a plane crashes because that's what you see. Now all visitors to Punchbowl can map out the major military campaigns that took place in Vietnam. They're able to see where the battles were fought, who did the fighting, and how many gave their lives during the war. But for some who serve, this memorial made of marble and stone also gives their own sacrifice some permanency. I think it's a little late, but thank God it's here because they will remember us. Many Vietnam veterans that I spoke with said this memorial is extra special because unlike today's returning veterans, they were treated differently. They came back truly the silent heroes. There wasn't much fanfare, parades, or um, special congratulations for them. That's why some hope this holiday weekend, everyone will take a little time to remember all of our heroes throughout the day or throughout the weekend that people do at least extend the handshake to a veteran or come up here to the cemeteries. At Punchbowl, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. In order to get the memorial ready for this Veterans Day, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers constructed the two pavilions and mosaic maps in less than six months.